Although it's not officially fall, despite those temperatures, it sure looked and felt like it across the Ozarks today. Families from all over attended, attended the 27th annual Japanese Fall Festival today to learn about and celebrate Japanese culture. Color 10's Bethany French joins us live from that festival at the Japanese Stroll Gardens. Bethany. Yes, Sydney, while well, the festival is over now and everyone is starting to head home, earlier today there were plenty of people here. There were vendors and lots of performances as well. Our kids are running around here having a good time and we just enjoy the weather and the people and the overall atmosphere. From traditional Japanese dances and bonsai trees to the gardens and sumo wrestlers, the Japanese Fall Festival brings many opportunities to experience Japanese culture. And it's a celebration of uh, not only Japanese culture, but of our 37-year-old uh, sister city relationship with Isasaki, Japan. Lisa Baker Inc. with the Springfield Sister Cities Association says this festival is one of the ways Springfield learns about their sister city. You know, we have this beautiful Mizumoto Japanese stroll garden and we have a sister city in Japan. So it just seemed like a natural thing to begin to have a Japanese festival where people could learn more about the culture and the sister city. The festival is held in the Japanese gardens every year. I think it was really nice to go around and to be able to see like all the traditional like Japanese like plants and everything and be able to see them grown here and the ponds and everything is just very beautiful. Families can learn about the culture through displays of origami, traditional Japanese candy making and more. We want to get people out and get them um, exposed to all of this amazing culture right here in Springfield. You don't have to leave Springfield to experience culture. Because we do have a lot of people who enjoy uh, a cosplay activity and we have people who enjoy the Japanese culture and Asian culture and I think it is something that is magnificent that pulls everyone together in a safe environment and that's something that you don't get a lot in other places. Tomorrow is the last day of the festival. Things are going to get started at around 11 tomorrow morning and then finish up around 6 tomorrow evening. Reporting in Springfield, Bethany French, Color 10 News.